Despite how outside conditions apply pressure or how internal feelings change, you are committed to the continual health and success of your partnership. Marriage means union and service in that you are joining together as man and wife to become one. Victoria Rayan, you have always been by my side and I could not have asked for a better person and a partner to experience it with. You've been my rock through every trial and tribulation, a safe haven, and I am so blessed to have you and the privilege of spending my life with you. I know whatever life throws at us, we will get through together. You look beautiful. Thank you. I know we're not supposed to kiss before. I don't care. You're a gorgeous baby. You like it? I absolutely love it. I'm Keith, in his young adult life, he moved in with his grandparents so he could be there to take care of them. As a father, all I've ever wanted was for him to be happy and for him to find someone to make him feel loved. Victoria, you have the biggest heart and the most compassionate attitude with my son. The love you share for Keith is evident. I'm so happy you have found each other, but remember, that marriage is not easy. There will be challenging times. But if you stop, listen, respect, and especially kiss each other, no matter your trials or your tribulations together, you too will get through anything. One of the biggest stresses that you can have on a daily basis is, is my little girl safe? Is she protected the way I want to protect her? And one of the hardest things is to watch your child struggle or be in pain. I mean, it's not easy to be the father of a daughter like Victoria, who's full of energy, outgoing, somewhat fearless and pretty damn headstrong. I'm still trying to figure out where she gets that, but I will. But my relief really comes knowing that as long as I can't be there to watch over her, that she has found a man in Keith to share her life with, who loves her unconditionally, will be an incredible husband, I have no doubt, and will be there to protect her and to keep her safe just as I would. I also know that he will be an amazing father when that day comes, because I've seen it. So as I told them during the ceremony, it may not be sunshines and rainbows forever, but it is forever. I vow to respect you, cherish you, and appreciate you. I vow to be the best version of myself for you. I vow to love you with all of my being, and to never let a day go by that I don't appreciate you. I vow to support you with any idea you come up with. I vow to never go to bed angry, and to never forget how incredibly lucky I am that you chose me. I vow to always plug in your phone and take your glasses off you when you have fallen asleep. Last but not least, I vow to always take out the trash, even if you don't even ask me. All that I am and all that I hope to become, I promise myself to you fully and faithfully. P.S. I wrote these vows on January 20th of 2019. Though I make these vows to you today, I promise these vows on November 11th, 2021. I sat in a room with your grandmother and I made these vows to her. I love you, Keith Butler, and I'm so excited to do this damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is my great joy to now pronounce you man and wife. Keith, 
you may kiss your bride.